Hello friends, happy Friday. It's time for math with Mrs. Ides. Today, we are going to compare our numbers, one through five. We are going to be matching pictures and counting. We're going to be reviewing more, fewer, the same, or as many as. And we are going to be labeling the pictures we see with our numbers, okay? So today is like a big review day. So let's go ahead and get two colors. You can choose any two colors you like. I like to use red and yellow because it reminds me of my counting dots. Okay, so let's add our name at the top of the page. Remember, uppercase and lowercase letters. And you can use crayons today. All right, friends. I'll give you a few more seconds to write your name. And we are on 2-5. 2-5 in your math workbook. All right, take a look, friends. Good job, are you ready? Okay, let's begin. First, we are going to color one side with one color and the other side with another color. Then we are going to match the pictures that have as many. After that, we are going to talk about more or fewer and label our picture. All right, friends, let's begin. I'm going to use red and yellow. So on this side, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five cubes on the left. So I'll trace my five. And then I'm going to use my other color. One, two, three, four cubes on the right. So I will trace my number four. Okay, let's match the pictures. I'll get another color. One and one match, two and two match, three and three match, four and four match. Oh my goodness, do I have a match for number five? No, that means I have one more red than yellow, or I can say, I have one fewer yellow than red. That's right. Let's circle the number that is greater. Is five greater or is four greater? Greater means more. So which one shows me more? Which number is greater? Five. That's right. Good job, friends. Let's do the same for number two. All right, I'm gonna use my red on the left. One, two, three. So I'll trace my three and then I'll switch my color. Let's do yellow on the right. One, two, three, four, five. So I will trace my five. Let's match them. One and one match, two and two match, three and three match. Oh my goodness. Which side shows me more? Yes, my yellow side shows me more. How many more? Two more. Great job. My red side shows me fewer. How many fewer? Two fewer, excellent. Let's circle the greater number. Remember, greater means more, the biggest number. Which one is the greater number? Is three greater or is five greater? That's right, five is greater. Five is greater than three. Good job, friends. All right, let's take a look down here at the fishy number three. We're going to do the same thing where we are going to color the pictures and match them. And then we're going to see this time 
which number is greater and which number is less. But on the bottom, this time here, we're going to circle less than. That means fewer. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to color one, two, three, four, five on the left. Let's trace it. Good job, friends. Now I'm going to color one, two, three, four on the right. And I'll trace my four. Good job, friends. Let's go ahead and match them. One and one match. Two and two match. Three and three match. Four and four match. Is there a fifth one? Is there a number five on my yellow? No. Yellow has one fewer than red. Red has one more than yellow. So boys and girls, at the top we circled the greater number, the number that showed me more. But on the bottom, we are going to circle the number that is less. That means fewer, less. So is five less than four or is four less than five? That's right. Four is less, less than five because it is one fewer. Good job, friends. Let's compare two and four. Are you ready? All right, I'm gonna go one, two, and trace my two with my red. And now I'm going to get my yellow, and I'm going to color. One, two, three, four, and I'll trace my four. Okay, friends, let's match our pictures. One and one match, two and two match. <gasps> Do I have any more red? No, I don't. How many fewer red are there than yellow? Did you say two fewer? You are right. How many more yellow do I have than red? Did you say two more yellow than red? You are right. So friends, which number shows me less? Less. That's right, two is less than four. It's fewer. Good job, boys and girls. Let's continue our learning on the back of our page. Here we go. Let's do this now with pictures of objects. So we are still comparing our numbers through five using two, three, four, one, all those numbers, one through five. Okay, let's draw a line from each item in one group to the other group. Then we're going to count the numbers and circle the number that is less, that shows me fewer, okay? So we can go ahead and choose some different pretty colors for these flowers. I think I'm gonna choose orange and purple. All right, I'm going to make some orange circle flowers at the top, and I'm going to make two purple, tulips at the bottom. So let's match them up. One and one, two and two. <gasps> There's one more orange flower than purple. How many orange flowers do I have? One, two, three. So let's make a three. Good job. How many purple tulips do I have? One, two. Excellent. What is fewer, boys and girls? Is three or is two fewer? Two. Two is less than three. It's one fewer. Two is less than three. 
Great job. Let's get some other colors for our buckets and our shovels. This reminds me of the beach, doesn't it? All right, let's color our buckets. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to label five right here. Five buckets. Let's color our shovels. One, two, three, four. Four shovels. Okay, boys and girls, let's match them up. One and one, two and two, three and three, four and four. Oh my goodness, I have one extra bucket left over. So, hmm, five and four. Four is one less. So which one shows me fewer? Do I have fewer buckets or do I have fewer shovels? That's right. I have fewer shovels, which means I have less shovels than buckets. Four is less than five. Great job, boys and girls. We're almost done. Pick two other colors. Hmm. I have apples and pots. Maybe I'll make my pots brown because it reminds me of planting in the garden. All right, one pot, two pots, three pots, and four pots. So I'm going to write four. Let's see, my apples. One, two, three apples. Good job. Let's match our pictures. One pot, one apple. Two pots, two apples. Three pots, three apples. Oh no, is there an apple for the fourth pot? No, there's not. Okay, now which one shows me less? Are there less pots or less apples? That's right. Three is less than four. There are fewer apples than pots. Great job, friends. We just have one more picture to go. Let's do it. I'm going to get orange for the fish and I'm going to get pink for the octopus. All right, let's count our fish. One, two, three fish. Let's label it here. And one octopus with eight legs. Reminds me of octopus, doesn't it? But octopus has six legs. All right, let's match our pictures, friends. One fish, one octopus. And that's all I can do, isn't it? I have two extra fish. I only have one octopus. Okay, which one shows me fewer? Which one is less? That's right, the octopus is two fewer. So that means one is less than three. Great job today, boys and girls. You have learned so much this week. Let's go back and review all the things you learned this week. On lesson 2-1, you learn more, fewer, and same as. On lesson 2-2, we compare numbers with one and two more. On lesson 2-3, you compare numbers with one and two fewer. On lesson 2-4, we talked about as many, which means the same. We talked about more and fewer. We counted pictures and made graphs and we compared them. And today, we compared the numbers one through five. Excellent job, boys and girls. I can't wait to see all of your wonderful work on Flipgrid. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday. Bye, friends.